We have an announcement. Yes, we do. We have a big, big announcement. It's been a long time coming. Long time coming. <laughs> we are now Californians. Wow. Really, I gotta talk a little bit more laid back. Oh. Bro. We're, mm -hmm. we're from California, bro. Gotta get my surfboard. Gotta get my surfboard. <laughs> yeah, we moved. Okay. We moved to LA, everyone. Yeah. In this video, we're going to explain why. Yep. And what's happening with our house in Minnesota and Hannah's parents. That my parents live in uh -huh. with us. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about what we're excited about here in LA and why we might already be regretting. <laughs> This decision. That's quite a story. So, yeah. Let's talk about it. All right, let's dive in. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. All right, so first up, why have we moved to Los Angeles? Because we are on the run. No, okay. The charges in Minnesota were piling up. We always knew that we wanted to end up somewhere that wasn't so cold as Minnesota. We love Minnesota. My family is there. We're still going to spend time there. However, you know, nine months out of the year, it's really inhospitable, especially for wheelchairs. Yeah, just like the snow of it all. Yeah. One thing, but the cold. Yeah, shame especially. I And when it gets below 50, yeah. I become almost useless. Yeah. So originally we had thought we would move to like the Tampa area in Florida and we spent two different winters there for like a month at a time trying to like scope out the area, yeah. you know, think about moving there. And then two years ago we were like, why have we forgotten about the other coast? We know people in Los Angeles, let's yeah. go there for the winter and see what we like. And we loved it. That was two years ago. Yeah. And then we did it again this past winter with the goal of like, we will find a neighborhood. <laughs> we will figure out where we want to live. We will try to like, get moving on this. So the weather and like just the desire to be out here was a big part of it. But I, I think the reason that we really pulled the trigger is for work. Yeah. Like we have some really exciting projects that we're doing that require us to be out here. Yeah. Which we're really excited to share with you all soon. Yeah. Um, but it just made more sense like to have our own place yeah. than to constantly rent very expensive Airbnbs whenever yeah. we had to be out here. Yeah. So it's kind of that, whether our friends, as Hannah said, yeah. um, just all these reasons that we were like, all right, we should probably just go out there. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to our second point. What is going to happen with our house in Minnesota? Thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. I know I've talked a lot about gaming and how much I like it. And for mobile games, I like games that are both relaxing and challenging because I'm usually playing in the evening, but I want the game to have some intrigue, some excitement, and June's Journey covers all of those bases. Remember when you were a kid and you had those books where you had to find hidden objects in messy scenes? Those were so fun, so nostalgic, and I was also very good at them, by the way. And June's Journey is exactly like those books, but as you're finding the hidden objects, you're kind of unraveling a murder mystery set in the 1920s. So the gameplay is fun and relaxing, and then the storyline is intriguing, and you just want to keep going to see what happens. Plus, the game is free to download. It's a perfect combination of relaxing and exciting, and I just cannot get enough of it. Download June's Journey for free by clicking the link in the description below. It's available on Android and iOS mobile devices and PC through Facebook games. So that brings us to our second point. What is going to happen with our house in Minnesota? If you don't know, we live with my parents in Minnesota. And one of the reasons that we did move in with them two years ago was because we knew that we did want to eventually end up somewhere else. And, you know, this way we... <laughs> we didn't have a house to sell and you know like my parents yeah. obviously live there like we're not gonna what evict my parents yeah, no. and take our <laughs> Liz and George are still living in take our furniture yeah and so like it, they're still there yeah and we're keeping our stuff in like a bedroom and stuff there yeah so we so do we can plan visit. to be there quite often when it's warm when it's palatable <laughs> you know yeah. when you don't step outside and feel the your air nostril, in your lungs. Your nostril hair turn to a solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we are, you know, we're gonna miss our friends and family for the portions of the year while we're out here. Yeah. It's gonna be. We just wanna see how it goes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but what, like, I know all the films that I am really excited about. We named a few of them already. 
the weather, our friends. Yes. They'd hang out with Poor Charisma. Yes. That was another big thing was like, we were thinking about moving here around the time that they were buying their house. Yeah. And so we, we were like house hunting it together. We did. We kind of planned it so that we would be close. Yeah. And now we are very close to them. We've been here for a week. We've already hung out twice. Yeah. So that's we're fun. Really happy about that. Yeah. The food. The food, the the DoorDash or like Grubhub whatever <laughs> uh, opportunities out here much greater than Minnesota. I have to say. I mean, we have amazing food in Minneapolis, but specifically delivery. You know, there's a lot of options. <laughs> it's so like it, it's funny how big of a determining factor yeah. that is. But like in Minneapolis, when we go on DoorDash, we have. 150 options, yeah. which is amazing. Here in LA, there are like 800 options, all within like 10 miles. Yes. I, oh, mm. And the Mexican food is a lot better, <laughs> which so is like good. one of Shane's <laughs> most favorite cuisines. Yes. So they he's have excited. All of our favorite cuisines. Yes. They have good pizza, which you can't find in LA yeah. or in uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Um, well, there's like, it's different. They have some New York style pizza that we really like. Yeah. Like punch pizza, I really like in Minneapolis. I don't, you know, people from Minnesota are going to get offended when you say that. But Her pizza, guys, is not it. No, most pizza in Minnesota I do not like. But there is a couple. Uh, but out here, there's a lot more options. So overall, yeah, the food, I think we should be done talking about the food, though, because that's really the least interesting thing we could talk about. I don't know, we've only been talking about it for like nine minutes. So <laughs> maybe... Uh, but I think yeah. also just the places. Like I'm excited to go to the Huntington Library and Gardens, like Pasadena, yeah. that whole area. Food, friends, and fun. Oh. And you know, for work, our work is making content sure. for all of you. And LA has a lot more that we can do all year round because of the weather. Yeah, for nine months in Minnesota, we're really limited to like what can we film inside our home. The irony of us filming this in our home. We're right in our now. home. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is a different kind of video. But yeah, we definitely are excited to do some more activities. Yeah, probably with Paul Charisma. So yeah. be ready for them to be in all of our some videos. Some more collaborations. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're very happy. Yeah. Liz is out here with us right now, yeah. helping us get set up. Uh, we're just like getting furniture, piece by piece. Yep. She and I are about to go to Ikea after this. Um, I'm kindly, graciously stepping out of the Ikea trip. Wow. I get overwhelmed by Ikea. Yeah. But now that we've told you all the reasons that we're happy and why this is like a good move for us, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> And that is that we might already be regretting this decision. At least Shane might be. It is, it is understandable. It's not easy to talk about. It was bad. When we arrived, we were unpacking and you know doing all that, and we noticed a little cobweb. Yep. From under our couch. Yeah. Very normal, you know. Not. I, I'd like to say not under our couch. Between the the base board and the cushion that you sit on, like right under, like six inches under my butt, I saw yeah. a little cobweb between the cushion and like the armrest, that corner of the couch. But it looked innocent enough. Yeah, you know, it I was looked like, like dust. I was just wiping away with a tissue. So I did. I got a paper towel. I started wiping away, and I was like, "Well, like let me just lift up the cushion and make sure I get all of this spider web." I lift up the cushion, and, and I'm I, on the other side of the room. I hear a blood curdling yeah. scream. I screamed. I got full body chills. It was a raccoon. No, <laughs> that wouldn't have scared me as much. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was a gigantic spider that we almost immediately and through my phone determined was a black widow. A black widow spider. Enormous. I mean, Show them with your hands. Like bigger. it's, I mean, it's front legs were like two inches long. The rest of it was, you know, bigger than a quarter, and it was black and um, had the colors like the reddish widows. orange on the back. It was <laughs> absolutely horrifying. And all of our friends that we've talked to that live out here yeah. about this have been like, oh yeah, that, that's like, yeah. Yeah, they were like, yep, that no happens. Deal. We when we found this, we we're like. Why did we die? Yeah. Why did we move here? We were like, we could have died. And then we Googled and like, you don't really die from Black Widows. Yeah. Did anyone else grow up with the knowledge 
that Black Widow invites are like deadly a million percent of the time. They're not. They I would like, have thought. They like mostly don't really hurt In you 10 years, no one has died in the US from a Black Widow bite, so. So. I guess we wouldn't have died. But it was directly, I sat on the couch. That you night, sat, I, I sat on it, like right by, the spider could have just walked out and bit me on, on the couch. And then you would have turned into Spider Woman. So anyway, I didn't. Shane was like, "Squish it, squish it." I don't care. I. I didn't want to squish it because mostly because it was so big. Yeah, it was too that big. The feeling of squishing it, I would never have recovered from. And it very well may have like grabbed your squishing utensil, pulled it out of your hands, and hit you over the head with it. Grabbed it with its front arms, ripped it away, and bit me in the <laughs> face. Yeah, it was huge. So instead, I got a cup and a piece of paper, and we put it. You know, I went to the backyard. She was very brave. I, yeah. the whole time I was yelling, tell it. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm just going to move it. There's an alleyway. So we just put it outside, like in the alley on the other side of the fence where no one lives. <laughs> so hopefully it's fine. So we're not, we're not moving for this spider alone. If there is another one though, see ya. Goodbye. Goodbye, California. If I ever see anything like that again, I will not be okay. It was horrible. We're obviously getting everyone. It, we were disturbed, but we're not moving for this spider. <laughs> um... But that's the LA story. Yeah. We are here. We are happy. We're excited to show you everything that we'll be doing yep. in the months ahead. So excited. Yay. Yay. <laughs>